there are historical references back to the time of the pilgrims that when you would look across Cape Cod Bay, you could almost imagine yourself being able to walk across the backs of these whales from the shores of Massachusetts to Cape Cod. And just because of the sheer numbers of them, they were there in such a heavy presence. And now obviously they're critically endangered and we're down to just a, a few hundred whales. Historically, it was whaling that brought the North Atlantic right whale to the brink of extinction, but it's been protected from whaling since the 1930s. It was one of the very first species to gain international protection. More recently, it's been impacted by entanglement in fishing gear and also uh, ship strikes, being uh, the whales being hit by vessels. In terms of fishing gear entanglement, the fishing industry as a whole has evolved very rapidly in the past 30 years. What's now being used are monofilament lines, nylon lines, and they're extremely heavy and also very, very difficult to break. And also just the sheer volume, you know, millions of lines in the water off the coast, the east coast of the United States. And so the combination of entanglement in the fishing gear and the ship strikes really are now bringing the right whale to the brink. female right whales seem somehow to be far more impacted, especially by entanglement in fishing gear. Uh, it really decreases their ability to thrive and reproduce. And so what we're finding now is that we're down to only some 70 breeding age females left in the entire population. And so we desperately need to protect these female right whales and make it possible for them so that they can begin to regain their health stop becoming entangled in fishing gear. We know how complex the marine ecosystem is and every single individual animal Every species plays an important role in that ecosystem. And therefore, not caring about the right whale to me is unfathomable. I sadly think that they will be functionally extinct within the next two to three decades if we don't act. And that's why it's so critical for the United States government in particular to take action and to develop a program that will protect right whales. I mean, it's incredibly important to let the government know that you're extremely tired of the fact that we've now been decades without an actual program that's there to design to protect the North Atlantic right whale. When you see an action alert from Animal Welfare Institute, we would really ask you to act on that. Get in touch with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, make your views known. I think they're also their own best advocates, the whales, just in terms of their amazing social behavior. I mean, right whale mothers whisper to their babies. They actually change how they vocalize when they're talking to their calves. But it's it's that kind of thing, you know, they're, they're social creatures, they're individuals. And I think the more we realize how sentient and intelligent and important they are, the better off they'll be in the long run because it will engender in people this desire to try and save them.